Hello subscriber! You have made a terrible mistake visiting this tunnel. Your blood will make me beautiful. My name is Elizabeth Bessoy, and I am known to you as a Dutch cantor. My story is one of power, beauty, and dark desires that haunt the depths of history. Listen closely as I unveil the truth that has been distorted by legends and whispers through the centuries. Born into Hungarian nobility in 1560, I was destined to be born a woman of privilege. But beneath my elegant facade lay an insatiable thirst. No, not for love or riches, but for something far more sinister, the essence of life itself. As a young girl, I was exposed to the brutality of the world, witnessing torture and execution. It was in those moments that a dark seed took root within me. I was captivated by the sight of blood, its vibrant hue and the power it held over life and death. When I was with Theo Ferenc Nádasdi, a handsome and powerful nobleman, I saw an opportunity to indulge my darkest desires. At the age of 14, Ferenc became engaged to Theome, Elizabeth Bátori. He invited her to Theo move into the Nádasdi Kessel, Kessel Sárvár, situated in Vas County in Western Hungary. Ferenc, unlike his wife, could barely read and write in his mother tongue. He is said Theo have had a basic understanding of the Latin and German languages, which he intended Theo use while mediating the Hungarian Vas. His wife, on the other hand, was known to you by one of the most educated women of the time. Not only could she read and write, but spoke with great fluency in additional languages, such as Latin, German and Greek. As a soldier in the Ottoman Hungarian Vas, Ferenc helped conquer the castles of Esztergom, Vajcen, Visegrád, Székesfehérvár and, years later, Győr. All of these castles were originally held by the Ottoman Empire. Thanks to the intervention of the Count, the Hungarians held a major advantage over the Turks. On 4 of January 1604, Ferenc, the Black Knight of Hungary, died of a mysterious and sudden illness in the middle of a battle. The castle walls became my sanctuary, and the screams that echoed through its halls were my lullaby. Legends speak of hundreds, even thousands, of young maidens we have fell victim to my sadistic rituals. But Tetros, as always, is far more complex. I did but a in blood, believing it would preserve my youth and beauty, but the numbers were exaggerated. My power and influence terrified those we have so Theo control me. They saw an opportunity Theo bring me down, Theo strip me of my wealth and status. They claimed I was a monster, a taker of innocent lives. But what they failed to understand was that in the pursuit of eternal use, I was simply dancing with the demons we all possess. Eventually, the whispers grew louder, the accusations unbearable. I was accused of crimes against humanity and condemned to a life of solitude within the confines of my castle. I became a prisoner, not of stone and iron, but of my own desires. The 
My years have passed, and my name lives on, forever associated with darkness and cruelty. But there is more to my story than the blood shocked pages of history reveal. I was a woman driven by passion, a hunger for power and an unyielding desire to control the very essence of life. Now, as the shadows of time claim me. ESQ Theo remember my tale, not as a mere monster, but as a reflection of the human condition. Look within yourself, and ask if you too are capable of dancing with the demons in pursuit of your deepest desires.